everybody. Madam Toastmaster. Madam Toastmaster, Madam President, fellow Toastmasters, I am a price audit analyst. We call it PAA for short. You know, U.S. Foods is known for all of the acronyms that we have. Um, so I am a price audit analyst. One of the many audits that we do is called a credit and rebuild. So when a customer realizes that they have their pricing is wrong, how does a customer get reimbursed for that? And how do we get the, our rebuild, how do we get our money back from the vendor? So I'm going to give you a very high level, because you know we have hours worth of training to do something like that, but I'm going to give you a very high level summary of how a credit and rebuild is processed. So first, what happens is, oh no, Barnes & Noble <laughs> realizes <laughs> that they are getting the wrong price for one of their caramel syrups that they use on a daily basis. <laughs> so they reach out to their NASR or their, the coordinator or, or myself, but they reach out and they figure out between the coordinator and the NASR that, oh no, this product was left off of the agreement. So they work to get the modified agreement from Starbucks they get it, lo the coordinator loads it into Prime, so now they're, Barnes & Noble's happy they're getting their pricing. So how does they get, how do they get reimbursed for that, and how do we get the money back from Starbucks? So the coordinator will submit a ticket through HPSM, and once that is submitted, it's sent to our team. And then once somebody from our team just selects it and assigns it to themselves, and now the fun begins. So the, there's two things that we have to do in order to process a credit and rebuild. Let me find my marker here. First, we have the customer side. In order to begin, we need to do a rapid audit. And what a rapid audit is, <coughs> is we audit what is loaded in Prime versus what is on the vendor agreement. We look for a wide variety of things, um, the billback language, whether it's priced by the case, by the pound, a variety of things, many different variables. <laughs> so we've conducted the rapid audit. Oh, there's some issues. So we send it back, we get Prime updated, and then we just expand the scope. So we, we do the audit, we complete it, we expand the scope, and now we can run a report. We call it a CPAT report. Well, first, rapid, and then CPAT. In the CPAT report is every transaction that has occurred for that specific item number, for that specific date range, for specific customer numbers, specific contract numbers. So, so there's a wide variety of ways that we can run a CPAT report. But once we have this report, we have to organize it in a way so that we can actually do our calculations. Because when it spits it out, we can't do anything with it. So we set it up, we review and combine the credits and rebills that have been submitted at the divisions. And then we also um, decrease our <coughs> scope to encompass what, is, what was submitted on the HP ticket. So once the CPAT has been set up, now we can calculate it. When we calculate, what we're doing is we are getting the appropriate pricing that the customer should have been charged. So we, once again, there's many different variables. It depends. So it could be priced by the pound, priced by the case, certain markups. There's part case charges. There's minimum markups, there's a variety of things that could go into calculating the correct price. So once we have the correct price calculated, we subtract what they got charged minus what should have been charged, and then we have a customer credit or a customer debit. So we're done with the customer side. Now we move to the vendor side. So the vendor side. The rapid has already been done. The CPAT has already been set up. So now what we have to do is we just go into calculate.
and along with the customer side. On the vendor side, there's many different variables. It could have been an agency fee where it has nothing to do with what we were charged or what we charge the customer. There's deviated cost, which is we take the price of the invoice, our purchase order cost, and subtract it from what we charge a customer, and then we bill back the vendor the difference. So there's a variety of things that go into that as well. So what we're doing when we calculate it is we calculate what we should have received from the vendor and subtract it from what we originally billed. Because in the CPAT, we will also have what we have billed already. So we calculate how much is owed to us by the vendor or how much we have to repay the vendor because that happens sometimes as well. Then after we have all of our calculations done, we have, it either goes into a review It's either reviewed or it's just automatically submitted. When we review the audit, we submit it to um, Alan. He's our credit and rebuild expert. And we submit it to him if we're not comfortable with the audit. If we haven't done this audit many times, like park case charges, per pound, catch weight items, there's a variety of different things that if you're not comfortable with it, you have to do it a few times to make yourself comfortable. So you submit it to him and he reviews it. It also, if the credit or rebuild portion is over $5,000, we submit it to Alan. If it's over $25,000, we submit it to Alan and we submit it to Julie for her approval as well. So, submitting it. So, the customer side, we submit it to our CDMU team or, and they process it digitally through, through the computer system, nice and easy or we have to process a V load, which is a customer check, which we have to set that up and we submit the check based on the divisions and or the customers, however the customer prefers it. And then for the vendor side, we submit it to the CAS team via their website and they process that on Saturday. And so once it's submitted, we can close all of our tickets we close the HPSM ticket. We also have a log that we, as an auditor, have personally. We close it on our log, and the customer now gets their money back, and we get our money back from the vendor. So now you can all go out and be price audit analysts and do credit. <laughs> <laughs>